We're joined now by Delaney Ambrose. And Delaney, we're the champions of the conference. And you know what? That means something. And I know we're here at Kenyon. We pride ourselves on that national meet. But as a freshman, what does that mean coming in, you know, last five months training, and we're in first place in the conference, which still means a whole lot? Um, coming into this meet, I didn't really know what to expect for anything like meet, how we would do. But um, to be the conference champion is really, truly incredible experience. And I'm excited to see where it takes me in the next three, four years. The 200 back tonight, you pulled away at the end. There was, I think, I think you had maybe a couple seconds on the, on the second place finisher. Uh, what was going through your mind? I know you're not looking out to your left and right, but what's going through your mind as you swim the backstroke? Um, I actually thought I had girls to the right and left of me the whole time. I didn't even know that I'd pulled away. And so just to finish and look at the board and see that I'd won was just incredible. And Jess just told me to race tonight, and so that's what I did. And I honestly thought there were people on, to the right and left of me, so I thought I was racing the whole time. Final question for you. Talk about Jess Book because he's one of the most likable coaches I've ever been around as a staffer in, in communications, but as a swimmer and uh, just describe what he's like as a head coach for you. And then I know it's only been six months. Um, Jess has been truly incredible. Him and the rest of the coaching staff, um, Fernando and Doug, they're, they're just so supportive. And um, I don't really even have the words to describe how much being a part of this team and being ha having Jess as a coach means to me. It's just amazing. Joined now by senior Maria Zarka. Maria, you win the three-meter board, and now as a senior, you've won them all here. Does this mean anything different for you uh, as a senior in your last go-around with the ladies? Um, yeah, it obviously it does. Um, in the grand scheme of things in the whole season, to be honest, it doesn't in terms of winning the titles. It's just another me. It's just another time to show people what I can do. Um, so in those terms, it's not different, but it's it's a complete honor to be able to compete with my ladies and to perform, you know, almost my best. <laughs> it's really fun. I think it was your second or third dive where you scored 63. What's going through your mind on, you got one one dive, two, all, all the way up through six. What, what's going through your mind? I see you on the side, you know, warming up, practicing your motion, but what's going through your mind, you know, before each dive? Um, my time in the water after a particularly good good dive is my time to celebrate that dive. Once I get out of the water, um, I have to forget about it. I have to move on to the next dive because it's, you know, it's like two-minute rounds. You have to dry off. You have to think about your next, you know, have a good dive, then the next dive could be awful. So you just have to keep a steady, focused mind and just focus until the very end. Your teammate, Maddie Carlson. Describe what you've seen as a senior, and, you know, she's an underclassman. You've got someone waiting in the wings that really did a pretty good job over the last few days. Describe what she's been like as a teammate. She's awful. No, just, no. she's amazing. She's so much fun. I definitely see a, little, like, a lot of myself in her. Um, she's, you know, just a wonderful teammate. She's so encouraging. I was so excited that she performed, um, the, like, really well in the conference meet she was um, injured at the beginning of the season so it's been like a very frustrating start for her to not be able to do um, what she's used to and then it's awesome to see her come together in ways that we couldn't imagine my uh, second to last question Andy Scott coach of the year describe Andy he, you've been around him more than maybe anybody describe what Andy's been like as a coach for you um I you know I say this every time Andy's exactly um what his athletes need from him as a coach. If, um, he can be stern, he can be mean, he can be harsh, and he can be um, comforting, he, uh, he can be understanding, he can be everything that you, like if you're chickening out, he's gonna be that stern coach. If you're really at the end of, the, uh, at the end of your rope, then he's the guy who you go to and cry and hug and who encourages you to get back up there and do it again. My final thought, all right, in a month we're down in uh, North Carolina. Where do you think this team can finish if we're at our peak? First place, second place? I know I'm, I'm asking for a prediction, but where do you think this team could be on the ladies' side uh, in a month? Our sights are on first place for sure, absolutely. I think we can do it this year. I think we have the people, we have the excitement, we have all, everything we need to get one first.